Near the beginning of our YouTube channel's existence, we put out this video that explained the process for putting a Chromebook-like experience on non-Chromebook hardware. But it wasn't really Chrome OS, and though Neverware's Cloud Ready has helped tons of users and organizations and schools revive their aging laptops with a Chrome OS-like experience, it's never been full-blown Chrome OS until now. Today's video is brought to you by our thriving and awesome Patreon community where we offer things like behind the scenes footage, early access content, access to our private Discord channel, and an ad-free experience over at chromeunbox.com, both on the desktop and mobile versions of our website. If you'd like to learn more, just head over to patreon.com forward slash chromeunboxed. So what exactly are we talking about here? Well, it's this new thing Google is calling Chrome OS Flex. And while there are some obvious similarities between this and Cloud Ready, there are also some striking differences that make it pretty compelling. To start, just like Cloud Ready, Chrome OS Flex is free and it's able to be installed on a huge number of existing laptops and desktops. This means that you can flash the OS on a USB thumb drive, boot from that, and then be up and running in no time at all. When you choose, you can overwrite the internal storage and make your device 100% Chrome OS, but you can test it out fully right now for from a USB drive. Where Cloud Ready always fell short was in the fact that it was never really Chrome OS. It had the Chromium browser, not the Chrome browser. It ran Chromium OS, not Chrome OS, and it was always a few versions behind the standard Chrome OS releases at all times, and there was no Google Assistant integration. Chrome OS Flex, on the other hand, has all of those things. You get legit Chrome OS, the full Chrome browser, Google Assistant, and the latest, most up-to-date versions of the OS. However, the same general setup Cloud Ready used applies here too, and Chrome OS Flex is free to install. It will remain that way, and it only incurs a cost if you choose to manage your devices via the Google Admin Console for a school or enterprise deployment. But that's another point of divergence that's worth noting. Chrome OS Flex devices will operate one-to-one, -one, just like Chromebooks from a management standpoint. So if you have a fleet of Chromebooks and you wanna add a few dozen Chrome OS Flex laptops for instance, you'll just apply your license to those devices and manage them just as if they were additional Chromebooks. Google does say that you'll need to stick to their large list of officially supported laptops for all of that kind of stuff to work, but this simplified approach to managing Chrome OS Flex devices just like Chromebooks is a pretty big selling point. Sure, Google does encourage trying all of this on untested hardware, but your best option for actual deployment is staying inside the confines of Google's recommended laptops. Now, speaking of testing on unofficial hardware, I'm sure this is not a surprise to anyone at this point, but we've already given it a spin on a non-supported Windows laptop made by MSI, and it booted up and ran quite well. The USB drive I was using was a 2.0 drive. I'm actually gonna head out of here to get a proper 3.0 drive from Best Buy right after we film this. So there were some hangups here and there, but overall I was stunned with how well everything just worked on this untested gaming laptop. I mean, the keyboard controls for stuff like screen brightness and volume, which are in some odd places on this one, all work fine. And so did the 144 Hertz refresh rate and all the USB ports that allowed me to plug in stuff like my Logitech mouse and use it with no issues at all. Now, more testing needs to be done and we'll definitely do it on some other devices, but the premise of this move by Google is pretty staggering. Chrome OS is breaking away from the confines of Chromebooks for the first time, and though it's technically in the dev channel of Chrome OS 100 right now, bugs to be expected, it's working really well. And I can't comprehend exactly how Google's managing this or how Neverware has done this up until now for years with Cloud Ready, but there are so many upsides to people having the ability to easily drop Chrome OS, real Chrome OS, on an older aging device and be up and running in no time. Sure, Google is clearly targeting schools and businesses with all this, but it's just as enticing for general users as well. Old computers with outdated, unsecured versions of Windows or Mac OS could all have new life as what basically amounts to a Chromebook for free. Forever. And no, Android apps and Linux containers and all that stuff aren't along for the ride just yet, but just consider the sheer scope of what Google has done with this. Consider how many people will benefit from a new, light, and secure OS on their older PC or MacBook. Consider that family member, I'm thinking of one right now, with the slow, painfully bogged down PC that could be set completely free from all that mess with Chrome OS Flex, and you start to realize that Google's acquisition of Neverware was always about this moment. And it's gonna be really interesting to see where all of this goes in the coming months and years as Chrome OS breaks out into all sorts of hardware. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there and hit that subscribe button, and make sure and ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.